clean and unclean food. You are the children of the Lord your God. Do not cut yourselves or shave the front of your heads for the dead. For you are a people holy to the Lord your God. Out of all the peoples on the face of the earth, the Lord has chosen you to be his treasured possession. Do not eat any detestable thing. These are the animals you may eat. The ox, the sheep, the goat, the deer, the gazelle, the roe deer, the wild goat, the ibex, the antelope, and the mountain sheep. You may eat any animal that has a split hoof divided in two and that chew the cud. However, of those that chew the cud or that have a split hoof completely divided, you may not eat the camel, the rabbit, or the coney. Although they chew, cut, chew the cud, they do not have a split hoof. They are ceremonially unclean for you. The pig is also unclean. Although it is a, it has a split hoof, it does not chew the cud. You are not to eat their meat or touch their carcasses. Pause. So, I, I don't know how it affects people to this day, but um, this is again under the law. <laughs> <laughs> the Old Testament during when the Lord was residing with them <clears throat> and this points out that we need Jesus and we'll go over it it's going to be a little while but um, before we get to the book where um, this is spoken of spoken back to and then the realization of um, it's this is not a contradictory at all. This is what was needed to be holy, um, and so this were these were the directions at that time. But we know that there will be issues, and we'll go over that at a different time. I just wanted to pause because I know a lot of people utilize this for what they literally eat and I'm like did you read the whole bible <laughs> <Did you? laughs> I just I'm like um okay so um it's not it's not to be and I say that you know like jokingly but again it's there's times for correction you know there's times for um wisdom you know even myself i know that this was what was needed during the law during under the law during that period so this was required and if we were to live under law if the lord jesus if the lord god did not send his son jesus these all of this would still be um what would be required to live with the Lord, to be holy. Um, but us as man, we can't, we, can't live, we can't live up to the law. The law is a reflection of ourselves to show us just how sinful we are. So um, let's continue to read. I know that's, that was a pause. <laughs> if, you, if you do, let, do what, are, what thoughts, what kind of feelings do you have? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think? 